Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called Iopamidol, commonly known by its brand names, Isoview and Iopamirin. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Iopamidol, often recognized by its brand names Isoview and Iopamirin, is a non-ionic, water-soluble radiographic contrast medium. It belongs to a class of drugs known as iodinated contrast agents. Iopamidol is primarily used in diagnostic imaging procedures to enhance the visibility of blood vessels, tissues, and organs. It is commonly administered during CT scans, angiography, and other radiologic procedures to help diagnose various medical conditions. Since its approval by the FDA, Iopamidol has become a valuable tool in medical imaging, providing clear and detailed images to assist healthcare professionals in making accurate diagnoses. Warnings Like all medications, Iopamidol comes with its set of precautions. It is not recommended for individuals with known hypersensitivity to iodine-containing contrast agents or any component of Iopamidol. Severe reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported. Patients with a history of allergies, asthma, or other allergic conditions should use iopamidol with caution. It is also important to consider the risk of nephrotoxicity, especially in patients with pre-existing kidney disease, diabetes, or dehydration. Adequate hydration before and after the administration of iopamidol is crucial to reduce the risk of kidney damage. Before taking this medicine Before receiving iopamidol, several factors need consideration. Inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies, especially to iodine or contrast media. It's essential to disclose your complete medical history, including any heart, kidney, or thyroid conditions. If you are pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, consult your healthcare provider, as the safety of iopamidol in these situations has not been fully established. Additionally, inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently taking to avoid potential interactions. Side effects. All medications can have side effects, and iopamidol is no exception. Common side effects may include nausea, vomiting, headache, and a warm or flushed feeling. More serious side effects can occur but are less common. These include severe allergic reactions, heart problems, kidney issues, and severe skin reactions. It's important to be aware of these potential side effects and seek immediate medical attention if you experience symptoms such as difficulty breathing, chest pain, severe skin rash, or swelling of the face or throat. Interactions Iopamidol might interact with other medications. It's of utmost importance to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently taking. Specific medications, such as metformin, may require special consideration due to the increased risk of lactic acidosis when combined with contrast media. Dosage The dosage of iopamidol varies depending on the type of imaging procedure and the specific needs of the patient. It is administered by healthcare professionals, usually through an intravenous injection. The correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness and safety of the imaging procedure. Your healthcare provider will determine the appropriate amount based on factors such as your age, weight, medical condition, and the type of imaging test being performed. Avoid. While undergoing imaging with iopamidol, it's advisable to stay well hydrated to help your kidneys eliminate the contrast medium from your body. Follow your healthcare provider's instructions regarding fluid intake before and after the procedure. Avoid alcohol and caffeine, as they can contribute to dehydration. FAQ. Many wonder about the age restrictions for iopamidol. Its safety and effectiveness in pediatric patients have not been fully established, so its use in children should be carefully considered by healthcare professionals. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of iopamidol. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.